I'm Dave from Dave, Dave Irv from Dave's Ultimate Automotive. Uh, we're going to be talking about checking and adding oil to your vehicle. Um, first thing you need to know is you want to check the oil with the engine off. You want to make sure you're on good level ground. Uh, you want to pull the dipstick, find the dipstick, usually uh, marked with a color yellow orange. It might even have a uh, identifier tag to tell you what, which one is the oil dipstick um, on the hood or on the, on the front cowl here. Uh, you pull the, uh, the dipstick, go ahead and clean it the first time. Stick it back in, run it all the way down, pull it out, make sure you keep it pointing down so it doesn't go up the stick, drip up the stick. And what you're looking for is it to be between the, uh, the cross hatches for the minimum maximum. Uh, if it is low, it is important that you know what type of oil you've been using, whether it's a synthetic or a regular oil, what weight oil you've been using. Uh, try to stick with the same brand that you've been using. They all have different chemical makeups. Um, some can fight each other a little bit if you use different, different brands against each other. Uh, if it's a critical situation and that you didn't find any oil on the dipstick, then it doesn't matter what you use. Just make sure you get oil in the car um, and then get to the nearest place to get it changed and get the right type of oil um, all back in. Um, so at that point, if you identified that it was low, uh, you'd find the oil cap. Uh, it's usually marked uh, on top of the engine with a, uh, a little oil drum, a little oil can. Um, it'll even tell you what weight is recommended. Not all people use the weight that's recommended on top of the lid. That's just for the majority of climates. Climate changes can dictate what type of oil you use. If you're in a much hotter place, you might want to use a little bit uh, heavier weight oil. Uh, so find out what you've been putting in, if you've been having your oil changed, what they put in. Um, at that point, I would get a funnel, put it in the oil fill hole, um, and uh, if it's just below the, uh, the grid, I'd start with about a half a quart and see how that works. And what you want to do is go ahead and add about a half a quart at a time. And then you want to wait just a little bit because you want that oil to, to be able to drain through the engine and make it to the bottom so you get a proper reading. So then I would wait about 30 seconds, maybe a minute, uh, do the recheck procedure if it's within the hatch. Uh, hatch marks are the indicators that it's right in between minimum and maximum. Uh, I'd go ahead and put the lid back on. And you'd be done.